Hi everyone, it's Mike here. I'm back with another Make It video for you. Today we're going to be looking at another one from our back catalogue and this is the Days of Glitz and Glamour, the Deco Delights Craft CD Collection. So what I'm going to be doing from this one is I'm going to be bringing out the Golden Flapper Girl. I'm going to show you how I put this card together very quickly and very easily but it's a definite mantelpiece wow. So I've gone ahead and printed one of my favourite um, ladies from this CD. Now this golden sort of yellow flapper dress one is, is definitely one of my favourites. Um, I also really like the, it's not on the front cover but there's one in a blue dress and for Christmas there's one in a beautiful red evening dress too. But this one I think is just great. I love the imagery, I love the deco sort of um, background with the Empire State Building in it and I just I just, love, I just love the dress I think it's absolutely fantastic but that's just me so what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to cut out um, all the layers that I'm going to need and and then I'll be right back once I've done all that cutting out but just before I go if I often get asked about the, the type of paper or card that I print on when I'm doing my samples so this is a 200 GSM um, card. Well, it's paper, but it's still card. It's like a crossover between card and paper. And I find it just gives the decoupage layers a little bit more um, rigidity when I'm trying to lay them down. I just think it adds a bit more, um, how can I put it, robustness to the card. So, But that's just my preference. Um, you can buy like 190 that will go through your printer. Check your printer to see what thickness it will print on and then make a determination as to which type of card or paper you want to print on for making your cards. Most printers will do up to around about 220, some will go up to 300 GSM. So check each of your printer and just see what it will go through and then it's up to you what you print on. So a lot of people print on photo paper, matte photo paper, which is quite thick, it's about 250. So most photo printers are capable of doing the thicker, uh, the thicker weight cards. Uh, and I use a laser printer, uh, only because um, I like to use glazes and that kind of stuff on a lot of the images that I use for my art journaling. Um, and it's not water-based. So if I put anything over the top of a water-based one, it's liable to run. But this with a laser, it doesn't. That's the only reason why I use a laser printer. Um, but again, that's a personal preference and you can buy very inexpensive color laser printers these days. So there you go. There's nothing special and there's no great mystery to producing great image results. Okay, so I'm gonna go off and cut all these bits out and I'll be back with you as soon as I've finished. So these are all my decoupage layers that I've already gone on cut out and I've gone around the edges with my um, Memento dual tip marker just to, that's the right one, um, just to hide any of the rough edges but I've also used one of my distress markers too and I've used to use the brushed corduroy which is a lighter brown uh, on the legs just to make sure that I've covered any kind of blips and glitches and that kind of stuff where I've missed out on the cutting out. Now for my card blank because there are nice some nice black elements and a lovely sort of black sentiment I've gone ahead and made my uh, card base out of our midnight black card stock. Now this is a, about 300 GSM uh, and all I've done is just scored it at 148 and then folded it in half and that just makes a simple um, a5 card blank. My backing paper that was on the sheet I've cut out. Now this also is the exact same size as the card base. Now those of you that have watched some of the videos that I've done already will know that I actually quite like to see the black on the front showing through as a border. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to trim down on all four sides just up to the start of that deco border. So it will still have the white but it will just be up to those corners. So I'm going to do that with my trimmer 
uh, and I will be right back. So I've trimmed off that excess and as you can see now it fits just nicely onto the front of our card and that gives us that black framed border all the way around which it ties in then to the black in the actual backing paper itself. So all I'm going to do now is I'm just going to adhere that to the front of my card blank. Let me just grab some glue. Some things falling out of me from my craft room. I'm just going to use a zig two-way glue stick and that should do me for that and I'm just going to stick that down with an equal border all the way around Try not to get my head in shot there. Yeah, I'm happy with that. So we now have our card base all prepped and ready to go. Now before we go and add our decoupage layers, I'm going to do the same thing just with that lovely little insert panel and stick that down too. So again, just using the same glue. going to add that to the inside of the card like so and we're done for that okay so now we just have to add the decoupage layers now I want she because she's looking over to what well, the left of the card I'm going to place her standing on the left hand side so I've already put my girl on foam pads and I've already taken the backs off because you really don't want to sit and watch that do you? So I'm going to place her just on that side and just give her a gentle pop down and then take the next layer line her leg up her dress and just drop that down like so and then for the final layer, again, just line her dress up. And of course, you can curve, add as much dimension to that as you want to. I'm just going to squeeze those corners down just to make a curve a little bit around the foam pad. That gives it a little bit more depth and dimension. Now, what I've also got is the long strip happy birthday sentiment. And I've also raised that on foam pads and I'm going to run that down the entire length of the left hand side of the card. Just like that. That way she's looking across the card at the sentiment. Isn't that lovely? Okay, so I think now what we need to add is a little bit of bling. So with a little bit of either glossy accent or if I can find my glue or Wink of Stella pen. There we go. Here's my little Wink of Stella. I'm just going to add some glitter just to the edges of her dress. Now it's pulled a bit there. That's fine because it will wipe off if you get too much on and then just on the edges just add a little bit of shine I'm also going to add some of that to her bangles and a little bit to her earring now you can also just put random dots around her dress too just to add a little bit of a shine like rhinestones and sparkle and gems just at random points of course you can use your stickles for this too and I think I'll just add a little bit on 
the edge of a shoes but not a lot and I think we're just about done now I don't know whether the camera's picking up that sparkle I'm hoping it is but there that's one A5 Art Deco beautiful birthday card that I'm sure lots and lots of ladies would love to receive. Very quick, very easy and quite simple to put together but again very very effective and I know lots of ladies like their Art Deco and this is a perfect addition to your collection. <laughs> Thank you.